Look, 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 look what's down here. Where's my um, oxygen tank? I got 74%. Damn. Oh, damn. I want that red fish. Got him. Oh, how did he get away? Old Nintendo Gamer. And son. Hello and welcome to Old Nintendo Gamer and Son as we're going diving with Dave in. Dave the Diver, and yes, as you can see on the splash screen here, this is the demo published by Nexon. It is arriving on the eShop, well the demo's on the eShop right now, but the full game is arriving on the Nintendo Switch eShop on the 25th of October for a measly £16.99 of your British pence. It's uh, described as a kind of an adventure RPG management hybrid where you fish by day in the action part and then uh, produce sushi for a, well, we're going to see, as an underwater cuisine restaurant and manage your restaurant, I suppose, your menus. We're going to find out as we load a new game here. And see what's up with Dave. Watch the crabs, Dave. Dave's lo loves a bit of sushi, sashimi, and the old side dish of wasabi. I can skip this, but um. Dare I skip the, the people who have worked so hard making this game? As Dave takes his time getting to wherever he needs to be going, Dave must be loaded! Right, I am going to skip now as he takes one last sip. Sorry, uh, UI artists, we saw you. But uh, UFK artists, very, so terribly sorry. Bye bye. Right then, we skipped the flight section. It's saving. Credits before the game. Nice to um, acknowledge. Yeah, when I started loading this initially, there was a. You know, you, you, you load the game up, it's just. Oh. Hell of a black screen, just so long, just like that white screen there. It's like it's far too long. Oh, Dave, you got here quickly. Oh, well, I was totally hurry here. I was on vacation, you know. So, where's the sushi at? Ah, don't rush yourself. Have a look around. Look at this giant blue hole. I've never seen anything like this. It's not just the size. Every time you enter a giant blue hole, the terrain and ecology changes, which means. This could be an incredible business opportunity. What kind of business? Well, we can discuss that later. I hear you took a break from diving. How about warming up? I'll guide you from here. Go ahead and go in. Mm, I don't have a good feeling about this. A sushi bar at the Blue Bay Hole. Uh, this is the prologue. Try moving to the arrow with L. And then uh, pressing X to dive, I should imagine. Oh, you got to hold X to dive. Off you go, Dave. A sushi bar by the blue hole. A titan triggerfish is a huge triggerfish, measuring around 75 centimeters with a yellow body, dark spots around his eyes and sharp teeth. It is found in coral reefs and steep surfaces of submerged rocks and feeds on coral, sea urchins, and so on. Tip, you can't cook any more dishes once your wasabi runs out. Damn. Everybody needs wasabi, though. Ah, nice form, huh? All right, how about trying stretching out a bit? 
Try moving to the marked area. With ZL, you can move quickly. Remember, this speeds up your oxygen consumption. So if I press ZL, oh, you can... You can... Oh, you, not too much of a, a speed boost, but uh, a little bit if you need to get back up quickly. Good, looks like your skills are intact. Your moves are as nimble as a freshwater snail. Now let's practice using the weapon you need in contingencies, the dive knife. Uh, try using the survival knife on small fish. You can use the B. The B button. That A and B is very similar there. Uh, use B on small fish. Ah, oh, well done. Smooth and quick. I didn't hit anything, though. And finally, you haven't forgotten how to use the harpoon, have you? The harpoon? Why? I haven't used one in a long time. Do your aim first, and then, um... Uh, looks like you need some practice. Uh, let's try using the harpoon to catch, let's say, three fish. Aim with the A and fire with the ZR. Now try it out yourself. Right, so you can hold down A and then you've got this kind of a range. And then ZR. Okay. I got one. Alright. Let's try and get a red one. Ah, they swim away as soon as you aim with the... I think that should be uh, get you back on the track in no time. Alright, come back up to the boat. Alright, that was automatic. Right, the harpoon has that limited range. You can't shoot anything above you. And you've got that kind of a 30, 40 degree reticule on either side of you to the left and right. That's your lot. Okay, now you got the hang of it. Let's get down to business. Dave, you love sushi, right? Oh, for sure. That's soft fish meat and oily rice. Oh, man, it's just the best. Ah, well, listen up. I have a friend who is a sushi chef who left the business for a while. He is a bit of a sharp tongue and a slight temper, but he's the only one skill I can guarantee is unmatched in the world. It's right here. I started a restaurant with my friend that sells one kind of sushi. The sushi sold here is made from fresh fish caught in the blue hole, where fish from all over the world can be found. Uh, don't you think people will just go nuts for it? Yeah, I'm already craving it. I bet, so uh, why don't you join in this awesome venture as well? What do you say? I mean, I love eating, but uh, I don't know a thing about cooking. Uh, nothing to worry about here. The restaurant is all ready. All you need to do is dive to get ingredients. Doesn't sound too bad, right? Wow. Well, Oh, so I can eat as much sushi as I want. Yeah, sure. You have to pay, though. Oh, Carl, wait, check it out. The sushi restaurant's next to the blue. Oh, uh, it, it was supposed to open tonight, but I'm not sure if it's ready. Uh, let's go and have a chat at the restaurant. <laughs> Press arrow on the X to get to the sushi bar. Right then. Oh, nice. We're off to the sushi bar. Hey, Bangcho, are you? Are we all ready to open? As you can see, it's just ready in time. Ah, mm. oh, it's already finished. Yo, uh, you're, you're the fisherman Cobra was talking about. Mm. Well, I'm more of a diver than a fisherman. Mm. All right. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Bancho. Mm. So you like sushi? I uh, should do tuna belly eel sea urchin. Oh boy, just thinking about it makes my mouth water. Hmm, just as mediocre as expected. Sushi is a food that combines the soul of sea and land. It symbolizes Mother Nature herself. Most people, however, have only tasted more accessible fish, just like you. How empty a life is one that ends without ever tasting the beauty Mother Nature can offer? My calling is to bring the taste of Mother Nature to everyone. Oh dear, what the Dave is going on here? Your sake is falling off the shelf. Uh, an earthquake. Hmm, the interior is really quite a mess. Uh, it looks like we have to delay the opening today. You know what? 
I ain't spent all my money getting this restaurant ready. I'll have to recover the repair cost due through doing business. In this state? <laughs> In the end, the importance of the restaurant is the taste. First, we need ingredients. Did you bring anything? Oh, I have something I just caught. Only three fish. This won't be nearly enough to serve the guests. Please go catch seven more fish first. Oh, and the restaurant is going to be open only in the evening. Huh? Why not decrease sales? Yes, you think you should invite customers without adequate preparation just to make a little more money? It's a chef's duty to repair the most best possible food with meticulous precision, just as a warrior sharpens his sword on a whetstone. You will need to get me the best quality ingredients during the day. Okay. Alright, let's go and get some seven more fish then, shall we? Watch out for those pesky earthquakes. Oh, I know the terror of earthquakes. I'm living on a subduction zone. It seems Bad Show is really passionate about his work. He may talk about personal stuff, but this guy can talk about sushi all night. <laughs> uh, I haven't seen Bancho so enthusiastic since the incident. Yeah, it's nice to see him like this. The incident? Uh, so maybe, maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Uh, anyway, you need more ingredients, so go catch seven fish first. Alright, let's go and catch seven fish first. Make a hundred gold to repair the Bancho sushi. Prepare sushi ingredients. Let's go, Dave. Sea Goldie. A male has a purple square outlined on its side with a long dorsal fin. It can be uh, it can be yellow to orange in color, and has two purple stripes that connect its cheeks to its stomach. That does not look yellow or orange at all. It looks red and purple. Fish caught with a harpoon will yield more meat than fish hunted with a gun. I have a gun. I don't have to reel it in or anything, do I? I keep on pressing the wrong button. I want that yellow fish. A. Eh? Got him. Lovely. Salma Poggi. What is that? Wood. Okay, I love some wood. Thank you very much. I can collect other things down here. Can I collect coral? I shouldn't be collecting coral. Oh! Look, 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 look what's down here. Where's my um, oxygen tank? I got 74%. Damn. Oh, damn. I want that red fish. Got him. Oh, how did he get away? Is it because my level is not um, high enough? Alright, let's get up here first. 69% oxygen. I got a baseball bat. Ah, more difficult fish to catch. I need to somehow keep on holding A. Ah. Okay. I need to spam A like crazy. Got it. Mediterranean parrot fish. We'll have some of that. I got him as well. Fish looks nice. Damn, missed. Ah. Damn. Oh, look at that fish. Ah, so many sights to see. Oh, that's a puffer fish of some sort. Can I catch it? Ah, what's my weapon? Ah. If you exceed your weight limit, you slow down, you exceed an even higher amount, you won't be able to carry any more. Press 
plus to organize. Okay, plus. I think I got enough now. Let's go up. I got enough oxygen to get up here, aren't I? Oh, there's jellyfish there as well. You want to eat some jellyfish? Yes, please, right? That was interesting. I nearly died thanks to those puffer fish. They're very territorial, aren't they? Let's get um, back here. We got loads of fish and even a baseball bat for you and a piece of wood as well. I wonder what that does. Right, these loading screens are a bit scary. Which is an icon just to show this loading screen. Looks like it's crashed. All right, looks like you caught a few. Ah, uh, this ray will make boatloads of money in no time. <laughs> oh my my, would you look at the time? Oh, we'll have to hurry up and get things ready. Why don't you get the sushi bar? Prepare sushi ingredients. Why didn't you... Okay. What? Wrap up your day and get things ready. A bunch of sushi. By the way, you're only able to dive once in the morning and once in the afternoon. Get the ingredients ready before dinner hours start. Right, that was weird. I didn't know what I was doing then. I repair Bancho Sushi. Make 100 gold. I'm sure we can make 100 gold. You can visit the sushi bar during the day without having to worry about time passing. Relax. Now, I like sushi. But I couldn't eat it for breakfast, dinner, and lunch. Wow, wow, wow. Bunch of all the preparations coming along. Hmm, I think we're mostly set. That's good. Here's to a great evening. Where do you think you're going? Didn't you hear from Cobra? You're here to help me run the sushi bar from today onwards. What? Well, I, I, I don't understand. Cobra told me that there would be someone to help me with the ingredients and serving. He said that all I needed to do is cook. And who else is there for that but you? What about Bancho? Why, I've never worked at a restaurant before. I guess we'll be here soon. I'll give you a quick primer, so pay attention. Oh! Open the ingredients below. There you can check your fish, crops, sauces, and other materials you have. Crops, all right. From now, from now, there's all you need to know. Come back later when there's more information. Okay. Now, I'll show you how to register actual items to the menu. This part I'm not liking. All right, menu. Uh, new recipes need to be added to the menu before they can be sold to customers. Can we do that in the daytime? There's a sushi recipe for the fish you just acquired earlier. So try registering that to the menu. Um, add, okay. Um, a cardinal, right, I don't know what I'm doing now. Uh, here, cardinal fish sushi, okay. That probably wasn't hard. Set ingredients to auto supply will make things a bit more convenient. Let me repeat, only food on the menu can be sold. If you run out of ingredients, you have to replace items on the menu or refill the ingredients. You can also enhance the flavors of the dishes, so try it out when you have enough ingredients. Now, use the ingredients to cut out, fill out the menu as much as you can. Ah, I need three cardinal fish to enhance the cardinal fish. Really? Cardinal fish sushi taste can be enhanced. Commence enhancement. Uh, no, right, okay, so we go add here. Uh, let's try Yang Tello Sushi, Mediterranean Parrotfish Sushi, come on. How about that? <coughs> Excuse me. 
Um, auto supply. If we get more, we'll just auto, auto it so I don't have to worry about making it again. Lionfish, this is what I'm talking about. So if I get one lionfish, and I go um, enhance, I need three lionfish to enhance its price, its flavor, and every satis customer satisfaction. Uh, let's try something a bit more simple, huh? shall we? Uh, sea Goldie. Bronze or higher, that's it. Silver or higher, gold or higher. Right, okay, that's today's menu. Uh, remaining menu will be discarded as the restaurant closes. Ah, oh, what? Alright, you close, I'm done. How long are you gonna stand there talking? Give me a cup of green tea to quench my thirst. Mm, have you perhaps poured green tea before? No, uh, only, only, only soft drinks, I think. Tss, I'll tell you how. Go over to Cobra. Sometimes customers will order drinks. Uh, AR to pour green tea, just the right amount. A or R, what button is that? Okay. Uh, hold down the R. I don't know what that is. Ah, oh, right, no, no, it's it's pulled down on the right analog. That is some thick tea. Customers who drank green tea of a good or higher grade will pay more. Yeah. Well, as expected, Bancho's green tea is quite something. Hmm, that tea really got my appetite going. Is there something to eat, perhaps? Demanding as always. Why don't you try serving him some food while you're at it? Come over to where I am to take this food. You can dash when serving food. Use ZR to move. Don't forget quickly forget your stamina. Hello. Uh, you sent the package last week. Did you won the world? Let me check on that. Cobra didn't even eat. He always gets distracted like that. The food can't be reused, so we have to throw it out. Yeah, it seems such a waste to throw it away. Banjo Sushi never reuses food. We do not put food made for guests on the table twice. Oh, all right. I could eat it. Everything looks about ready. Mm, I haven't cooked for customers in a while. Kind of nervous. Don't forget to press Y after filling the menu for business to begin. Um, okay, customers will order dishes from the menu. Don't forget to register dishes to the menu before the sushi bar opens. We've done that. Press Y. Open Bancho Sushi. I'm open! Hi, customers. Seems okay. <laughs> Lovely stuff. Do you want some tea? Anybody tea? What's this? gold we made? How much gold are we making? Minus 36. Minus 36. Yeah, we're rocking. Close for the day. Bancho, Bancho Sushi closed. There's a lot of people on this island. Yeah, five fire stars. You've earned Artisan's Flame. Okay, Operation Cooking plus 65 others. 
to tips plus seven, sales 74. We made a net profit of $74, which will pay uh, we only $26 left. One more day of cooking and we'll be paying off uh, the repairs. Or oh, paid off the repairs. Whew, work's done, finally done for the day. My back and legs hurt, and you gotta wake up tomorrow morning and do it all again. You were a bit clumsy, but not bad for first day. Try a little harder next time. I suppose coming from you, it's a compliment. <laughs> a man should not feel gratification from simple compliments. Uh, alright. In any case, I toasted the opening of Bancho Sushi. What's happening here then? Uh. <clears throat> so all those packages are going overboard. Do we have to go and collect the packages? And does Banjo know something about that big squid? It's an octopus, actually. Saturday, the 2nd of October. Sunday, the 2nd of October. Ellie's calling. Hmm, uh, are you the man who's been diving around here? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I was expecting a more professional looking guy. I can hear you, you know. In any case, can you do something for me? Shouldn't you tell me who you are first? I'm Ali. I study biology at the local graduate school. I've come out to investigate about reports of anomalies in the area. Satisfied? Okay. So what you want? I like to study the ecology of the blue hole. Give me some agar and red starfish first. I don't think it's a good idea to just ask for one of each, so give me two of each. Your tone. Makes me want to refuse. Hmm, I got a reward. Why? But uh, if you don't want it, that's fine by me. A, a re reward? Well, I wasn't refusing. I'm just saying you could ask more nicely. In any case, please hurry. Don't dally. I'll do it once and then um, see what the reward is. New content: smartphone. You can use your smartphone to access various types of content. Various types of content. Check your current missions and more. Game status is there. So if I press um. Plus, that's my phone. Oh, nice phone. So things are locked off. I got to do things to do. Repair Bancho Sushi. Re uh, red ecological data. And Bancho. I need agar and red starfish. And prepare sushi ingredients. We've done that, right? And there's a call. I got how many calls? Cobra. Oh, I can call people, right? Mail. Do I have mail? Get a 10% discount. Get going. Yeah. Man. Calendar, weather, blah blah blah. Mini ga mini games. No games to play. Oh, I've cried out loud. Maybe they get added later. Let's do another dive then and see what we can get. It's the morning. Is there a timer? Am I wasting time standing on that boat chatting away? Sushi bar by the blue hole. This is still a prologue for crying out loud. Barrel jellyfish, a large cylindrical jellyfish shaped like a giant mushroom or bell, has eight wrinkled tentacles, a favourite food of the world's largest sea turtle, the leatherback. Do you think Banjo can cook one of them up? Let's have a sip of coffee. Here we go. Ah, it's completely changed. What's this? Pressing the wrong buttons. Oh, let's get one of these little fish. Right. You gotta be a bit quicker, actually. 
Oh, thanks. Oh, puffer fish. Some of that. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Surely I gotta. Oh. Go on, puffer fish. Go small. Oh, I can't even get near it. Right. Silver bow, very nice indeed. Why can't... What am I doing wrong now? Because I got oh look at that huge thing. It won't even let me get near that. That's too far too tough. Six percent oxygen, that's not too shabby. Damn. Really? Oh, I was lucky. I need a better harpoon by the looks of it. Mediterranean parrot fish. Come up this side this time. Titan Triggerfish. Oh, seahorse. Pressing the wrong buttons again now. Oh, I can't get the seahorse. Uh, salt. Salty. Okay, I can't get him. Uh, time to get out of here. Our weight is exceeded. So we're going a lot slower. Return to boat. Return to the boat. Uh, not a bad little chilled out game when you're underwater. And the 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 management I don't like so, so sorting out your recipes and stuff. It's okay, but the serving part of it as well is quite fun. Um, a nice juxtaposition of uh, two games in one. Uh, I don't like that long black screen though. There we go. Time, five minutes and nine seconds underwater. That's my best. 41 meters depth. I got all these blue tangs, carbon fishes, yellow, full and blah, 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 and all the rest of it. But I did get Agar to the fish tank. 
Dave, Dave, hey Dave, did you uh, get a loosen up yesterday? Mm, I saw lots of nasty fish. I won't be easy to go any deeper. Mm, I did notice the fish in the black uh, blue hole of uh, an odd violent streak. Perhaps something puts him on edge. Speaking of which, why didn't you also take a gun in addition to the harpoon? A gun? I have a friend who's knowledgeable about guns. I'll introduce you to him. Duff. Ah, oh, Cobra, it's been a while. Who's this goofy looking guy next to you? Sorry, isn't the nicest thing to say to a stranger? I'm Dave, a professional diver. Interesting, I thought divers are more athletic and muscular. You seem to be defying my prior knowledge. People who live in glass houses. Uh -huh. oh, so, what's this about? Uh, if you'd like to get straight to the point. Hello. I began a very interesting business. <laughs> now I'm in need of weapons, Duff. I need your help. Hmm, season two of Straw Struggle has just uh, ended anyway. I'll give you a listen. Alright, I actually discovered a fascinating giant blue hole. The terrain and ecology inside it changes every time you go down inside. Oddly, an equipment found inside breaks down when brought out. I'd like you to make us a weapon that can be used inside. Hmm, that's rather interesting. You piqued my interest as a weapon researcher, you could say. My hypothesis is that anything that's not made from materials found in the blue hole will continue to break down. This is especially true of guns, which are precision parts. Hmm, so you will have to get materials from the sea ourselves? Well, Dave, you have to prove yourself as a diver there, Master Duff. Uh, I'm not sure why I have to prove myself to you. Just tell me what you need. Uh, since it appears you have no guns at all, let me start with something easy. I think I need one rope and one scrap iron. You heard him right, Dave. Enter the blue hole and bring back rope and scrap iron. By the way, if I run out of oxygen midway, you'll only be able to get back with one item. Always keep that in mind. Weaponsmith Duff. Let's go diving then, is it? Alright, this might be our last dive. This is going on a bit. But I'm enjoying. Lagoon Triggerfish, the colourful mosaic patterns formed by its scales have earned its nickname Picasso Fish, has a pointed snout and three to five large scales behind its gills. You can contact people through the phone app if you have their number. But do you want to? Dive. There's a starfish there, I need that for the girl. I think I can catch us. Uh, I've got two of those now, baseball bat. Uh -huh. Oh, it hurts! I don't think Sue just picked up with these gloves. Alright, okay, so you need. Rope. I use a lot more oxygen going down there. Soy sauce. Out. I only got the rope. Oh, there's another red starfish down there. Time. The time you need running out of oxygen. So he's going to go, go back, Dan. You need a rope and some other bar or something. I got a baseball bat. And I've got a black screen. Come on, screens. Hmm, uh, you actually brought them back? I expect. I guess I expected too little of you. Alright, this should do for now. I'll give you a reward as promised, uh, since you helped me do my research. The sudden ec ec ecological changes in this region you need to study further. So I need to continue to need your services. Add my number. 
Red ecological data. Mission complete. You collected 100 gold. Oh, great job. This should be enough to repair what's broken. Ah, oh, then give me some time. These repairs need to be done right. I really hope the customers keep coming. Mission completed. Repair Banjo Sushi. Marvelous. I got some wood. What's this? Okay. Soy sauce. No fish caught. To the fish tank. Wrap up your day and get things ready at Banjo Sushi. What's this? Ah. I have a harpoon gun, but I don't have a gun. I have a melee a charm. I could uh, sharp knife used to cut something underwater. Damage three. Harpoon gun damage three. It's uh, very old, but we maintain well. Looks fit for use. Charms. Piece of lumber. And silver bowl. If fetch a decent price, you should uh, try selling it at the Cobra shop. Don't even know what the Cobra shop is yet. But let's go back to the sushi bar. You go diving twice. I can't get a gun yet, but uh, uh, maybe in the next day. But uh, let's do one more sushi session. I bet there's more to learn. There seems to be two chefs there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I need to go to the menu first of all. Ah, you gotta add menu every time. Uh, Norimaki, sushi made with seaweed vinegar and wasabi. Oh, new. That's some reef trigger fish sushi, yes please. And I can ha enhance it as well. Oh, enhancements. <laughs> Marvelous. Enhance has been complete. Oh, it's very tasty. Now let's try something nice and simple. Cardinal fish. Can I enhance this? I can't because I don't have enough. Oh, I have 18 blue tangs though. So I can enhance this beauty. Enhancement complete. I can enhance again. Enhancement complete. Right, okay, let's let's um, put some. Enhancement complete. Oh my god. Uh, oh, there are. I can only eat level four, so I'm gonna put this on the menu. Enhanced. Uh, Mediterranean parrot fish. I have three of them. It will cost me three to enhance. Ah, it cost me four to enhance. Uh, so, let's get some nice, easy yellow tang. Okay, we'll have some of that. I'll save that one for another day. So this rainbow rizabajabaja bear. Okay. I got soy sauce and stuff. So if I went to um, enhance, oh that is to get to level five. Okay. What about add ingredients? Add flavor. Swap auto supply. Okay. Right. Okay. We are done. Close that. Oh, can I have a look at the green tea? Green tea is only one dollar. Amazing base menu. Noriaki. Um, we're gonna open, that's all I can do. I can't go to research or staff. Oh, ingredients is X in there. I couldn't move that actually. So, right, where are we going? We're waiting for the customers. Let's go. Anybody need some tea? I'm a professional tea explorer. This one, please. Okay, it's on this way. Oh, bad, apparently. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, she was here first. Then it was him. So 
Sorry about the bad tea. Give me another chance for tea. Let's go. What's this? Uh, and uh, you won't be able to produce food if you run out of wasabi. Grind wasabi and refill it before it runs out. How do I grind? Okay. Ah, you have to do that as well. Okay. Uh, ZL to run. Let's not keep this customer waiting for too long. Lovely stuff. Closed for the day, Bancho Sushi. Closed. Ah, oh, today wasn't as successful as uh, yesterday's. Damn. Extensive little demo again. Always are these days. Which means the game itself will be rather extensive. You only needed to do the first day and that would have been uh, adequate. But um, it's nice that it's showing some other things like the, the gunsmith. Uh, obviously you can upgrade all your harpoons and other weapons and stuff like that. We're on the third day, which is the Monday, and it's a sunny day. Sunny days. But, Dave, oh, what's happened here? Hello. 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 Why are you there by any chance? No. Yeah, what is it, sir? Wow, I'm always right about these things. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Bacon. I'm an archaeologist who studies the sea people civilization. The Sea People Civilization. Eh, yeah, I'll explain to you. Aren't you lucky to have an expert like me to tell you about them? No. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have asked. Hours later. Uh, the Sea People Civilization live in legends. They are said to occupy this region a very long time ago. They worship fish and had gills allowing them to live underwater. Really? They live in the depths, allowing them to flourish without any concern for invasions by other species and civilizations. But sudden change to the sea bottom brought about their abrupt downfall. That's about all there is to the story. Everyone thinks it's a myth and nothing more, of course. But proof that they were real was right in the vicinity of this place. Oh? Uh, that's an amazing find. One could turn the whole academic world upside down. An ancient civilization under the sea where you could only see such things in comic books or games. What makes you so sure they were real? My assistant closely analyzed an artifact found nearby and found that it is from no known civilization. It's dated around 1,500 years ago as well, so there were no civilizations in these parts back then. That's interesting. But what business do you have with me? Oh, well, see, my assistant's cryptocurrency investments didn't pan out, and he wouldn't be around for quite a while. Uh, that's why i like you to help me. Oh. My assistant's told me that the artifact was found 70 centimeters, 70 meters rather, not centimeters, that would be easy to spot, or so below the surface. Please go and take a look. We're busy with the sushi bar. Don't think we can. Uh, sorry to interrupt the conversation. I'm Cobra. I work with Dave. Of course we should help you. We gladly do so. Yeah, ha, ha. Oh, what? We don't have time to swim around searching for artifacts. Oh, think about it. If an underwater civilization is discovered, countless people will flock here. Banjo Sushi will be bursting at the seams. Mm. Oh, I suppose you have a point. <laughs> oh, I'll help. Aha, yeah, yeah. uh -huh. isn't that a lucky thing? Of course, I wouldn't be asking you to work for free. I'll upgrade the diving suit you're wearing for free. Wow. Yeah, yeah. With enhanced diving suit, you'll be able to venture deeper. That's essential for exploration. Yeah, yeah. These days, even such things can be handled by an app. Technological advancements are amazing, eh? Uh, let's first install the iDiver app on your phone before we proceed. Tracking the sea people. New content, iDiver. Ah, there you go. You can upgrade your air tanks and your diving suit as well. So it allows you more air and more depth. Now then, let me tell you how to use iDiver. I'll install the app for you so you unlock your phone first. I'm... Try oh, there, right, right, I was pressing the wrong one. Uh-huh, right, upgrade the diving suit for free. Yay, I can depth now dive to a depth of 80 meters. Now you'll be able to venture a bit deeper. Once you have enough money, use the eye dive to enhance your equipment. You can enhance your suit as well as your cargo box and oxygen tank. Never forget that anything can happen in deep waters. I'll be in touch. Alright, I bet I don't have enough money to... Tra traces of the sea people. 
and this is chapter one, and it's still letting me go on through chapter one. I want to see the eye diver um, app here. Uh, I got 107 bucks. I could spend 65 of those on an upgrade to my oxygen tank, which will allow me to dive for a longer time. A cargo box and my oh my harpoon gun for 300 bucks though can be upgraded to the steel harpoon gun uh, nice damage will be 10 instead of 3 oh we'll be killing all sorts of stuff with that thank you for watching this first look at, of the demo of Dave the Diver which once again is releasing on the Nintendo Switch eShop on October the 25th in a couple of days time Go out and get it for sixteen pounds and ninety nine pence, probably nineteen ninety nine in US dollars. Go check the eShop out. This has been a wonderful little experience, and uh, one you can just potter around in and take your time with. Bye bye. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like if you've enjoyed our content. You can follow us on X, Facebook, Instagram, and Threads. We also have a private Discord server for some laid-back gaming chat. And if you're feeling generous, you can support us via coffee. All the relevant links are in the description below. 